Back in February, we stayed at the Fargo Mansion in Lake Mills, Wisconsin. The morning we were set to leave, innkeeper Tom took us on a tour of Lake Mills. We loved it so much that we decided to return to the town in July to do an entire episode based on it. But since that's months away, here's a little taste of what you can expect. And this, our building, is actually the Bruns Building. It was a furniture store and funeral parlor in the 1800s. So wow. let, let's go in quick. I'll, totally yeah. Pixie, how's my girlfriend? Come on. Oh, she loves me. Oh, Pixie, come on. Oh, how are you? Oh, oh. yeah. So Mary and I have been friends for 30 years. Her kids used to work for me at the Antique Mall. And we've had this building since 94. I actually put this path in here because um, <clears throat> when we opened the store for Doyle's, is, that was our ice cream parlor. So it was ice cream and candy. And we did this for the kids could walk through the store and not drip on the carpet. So it's just a general gift shop, a little bit of old and new. It's kind of a unique blend of old and new. So he has Chicago style hot dogs, Italian beef, brass Polish, chili cheese, macaroni and cheese, and two soups every day. So we like to eat here. They did that when they renovated. They exposed the bricks. This is the slider stand. Only open on Fridays from Mother's Day to Fall Festival. Only Fridays. And the community, it's been here for 75 years. And when they're closing, the week they close, people will order ahead boxes, dozens, and they freeze them. It's a special blend of burger, it's seasoned. It's actually kind of tasty, but they're boiled. And when they're done, they come to the service and they slide down this little thing. And then they put them in a bun. You can get them two ways, with or without onions, cheese or no cheese, Nothing, no other options. So this is a multi-dealer mall. So it's, it's like 20 different people have rent spaces from us and then sell their wares. That's all of our veterans from town World War I through Iraq War, the end. Some are deceased, some are not. So the families pay the artists to have their image up there. We still have a problem with people thinking that Lake Mills is nothing more than the four corners out there. You know, McDonald's and Subway and Walgreens, and they don't, they don't realize that going down south three blocks, you have this wonderful community. See, this, this Main Street's all brand new. It was started last March, and it was opened in the end of June. All new infrastructure, new concrete steps. They haven't even haven't put the flower boxes back out there. We do that for spring. We have big cement flower boxes. Every Wednesday, we have farmer's markets from May through October. And then the concerts are in the park. The city band plays in the city square on Wednesday nights. So here's our building. <clears throat> this is Remax. And we have a, two big spaces upstairs and there's a yoga studio upstairs uh -huh. and then a photographer studio up there. So this used to be the hardware store in Lake Mills. And then we turned it into the office. And It's made right here in town and sold over there in their shop. It's all signed and numbered. Oh, yeah, wow. it's a very collectible. I have a bunch in the mansion in the bookcase. It's all done right here in Lake Mills. Their, their production is down the street here out behind Main Street. All handmade, glazed, designed. 